What's up guys? This is Bruno with Western Equipment. Now let's go ahead and start talking about the best transmission in the 5 Series tractor lineup. Now in the John Deere 5 Series tractors we have 5 E's and we have 5 M's. We have horsepowers that range all the way from 50 horsepower all the way up to 130. So as you would imagine there are a plethora of different transmission options from the 5E series to the 5M. But today we are gonna be talking about the Power 8 transmission on this 5095M. Now, this transmission is going to be one that is going to be great for any type of loader work, any type of back and forth, and also to be one that's going to reduce fatigue in operators and make for a really easy work day. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the cab and start showing you how this thing works. Now, first thing that I would point out in this machine is that normally whenever we are looking over here to our right this is where our gear shifters are going to be but as you can see what we have here is just one single gear shift now normally what we're going to have is we are going to have two separate gear shift one for our ranges and one for our gears but in the power 8 transmission you have just this single lever now how this is used is we are going to use this in the pattern that is shown here to go ahead and select our ranges. So we have a foot clutch down at the bottom. We're also going to have a clutch button up here on the top of the shifter. Now this is going to be our D clutch button. So this is the thing that is going to make this transmission very, very nice whenever we're talking about reducing that fatigue and making it easy on the operator. Because by having this button up here on our handle, when we need to change between ranges between a b c and d all we have to do to be able to do that while we're moving is go ahead and hit this button and then we can change within that range pattern just by pressing this button instead of having to use our foot down here on the clutch so when we're talking about loader work one thing we know is we're doing a lot of back and forth we're doing a lot of changing speeds so whenever we do that we're changing speeds we're having to change our gear shift over here we're working that clutch to go ahead and come to a stop now we are still going to have a power reverser so up here on the steering column you are going to have your power reverser to go from forward to reverse but whenever we're talking about changing speeds that's whenever we get into the gears and ranges now we talked about the fact that we only have this one handle so we would have this normally to change ranges but as we can see we do not have a second lever anywhere to change gears so where we're going to change gears at are going to be right here on these two buttons we have a rabbit and a turtle that are going to shift us up and down in between gears so no more having to switch back over to a second lever over here to switch those gears we've got it right here on the handle once again reducing that fatigue we're working those long days we're getting tired our brain might not be working and we're not thinking about where our hands need to be very very simple we have this one control right here that our hand goes that we can switch not only ranges but also gears with these buttons down here now as far as speeds go on this transmission what you're going to have is a 32 by 16 so what that means whenever we're talking about transmissions and you see these numbers 32 slash 16 16 slash 16 whatever those are that first number is going to be the amount of forward speeds you have so since we have four ranges on this machine a b and c four ranges then we're going to have eight gears in each range so four times eight is 32 that's how you're going to get your amount of forward speeds now when we're going in reverse you only have four gears in the four ranges so four times four 16 that's how we get our 32 by 16. all right so now i'll go ahead and turn the tractor on here so that we can see what comes up here on the panel all right so now that i've got the tractor on what we're going to see up here on the screen is we are going to see p so that means that we are in park over here on our gear shift now if you're first putting this machine into gear i would suggest going ahead using that foot clutch making sure and putting your foot on the brake getting that out of park so we're gonna go over, down, and over right here. Now what we should see is that we are in the neutral position right there. So we're gonna be in neutral as long as we keep our power reverser in this neutral position. Now, like we talked about, whenever we are changing ranges here, we can do this right here from the D clutch button here on top. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in gear with my foot here on the clutch first. So I'm gonna go up and into A range here at the top. So just one push forward 
and now what we're gonna see is it's automatically gonna put us into A8. Now we talked about that we have eight forward gears. So we are in the highest gear going forward. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to, for one, I can let my foot off the clutch because we're in neutral here. I'm gonna let my foot off of the brake. If I'm on a flat surface here, we're gonna go ahead and keep our foot on the brake. Now I'm gonna change gears by using our buttons here. So we're in A8, I'm gonna hit our turtle button one time. That's gonna put us down into A7. Then if I go ahead and continue to hit that button, I can go down into six, down into five, down into four, three, two, and finally down into one. Now, like we talked about, we don't have to use our foot clutch to be able to change those ranges. So over here now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into B. I'm gonna hit my D clutch button here at the top, pull back on the lever, and now we can see that we are in B1. So just like that, we are able to change those ranges. Once again, I can change those gears by hitting my button over here on the handle. So now we're in those different gears. I'm gonna go ahead and declutch again and go up and over into C. Just like that, we're in C range. Now, before we go ahead and kill that tractor, we're gonna make sure, put it up and over into park, park that machine, make sure that we have that parking symbol on and then we're able to turn this off. Now, the reason why that I say this is the best transmission in the five series machines is because these are utility tractors. These are meant to be used for multiple different applications. A lot of times we're gonna be doing loader work. We may be using implements in the back back here that are going to allow for variable speeds. Maybe we're doing such things as pulling a sprayer or a shredder, whatever those different things are. We're getting in, if we're pulling a shredder, we're getting into that thicker grass. So maybe we need to slow down and we need to slow down on the fly. Once again, really easy with that one handle over here to be able to change between those ranges and gears. If we're doing that loader work, this is where it's really gonna come in handy. Maybe we need to slow down, go into that pile. We can change those gears really easy over here on the fly. Then we need to pick that speed back up to make it across the field or across the work site dump that load, come back and get another. But with the combination of the power reverser along with the power eight transmission over here, having those 32 speeds going forward, 16 going backward, you have the best and most versatile transmission in this lineup. And also one that's going to cause you the least amount of fatigue because pushing on that clutch all day to change those ranges and gears gets really tiring on the leg. So having all of that being automated over here into one easy handle is going to make your life very, very easy. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. I hope this helped you out. Maybe this put something in your mind to make you think about whenever you're looking into these five series tractors of what you want to get into. Now, keep in mind that this transmission is only going to be in the five series in the five M's. You cannot get this transmission down in a 5E series tractor. So if you're looking for that ease of use, you're gonna be using this tractor a lot. We definitely wanna jump up into that 5M. So guys, if this video did help you out, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you need any John Deere parts at all, go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.